Forester protesters, hundreds of them, shut down the state capitol today for some time during a demonstration to voice their opinions regarding the Commonwealth's investment into Israel as the fighting rages on overseas. Fox 43's Ryan E joining us now with more details of what happened and the message protesters were trying to send. Some 400 protesters gathered at the state capitol demanding that Pennsylvania's public fund investment into Israel stops immediately amid the Israel-Hamas war. They say it's all about having their voices heard by the leaders who they feel should be better representing them. A call for peace at the state capitol. Our main message today is to divest from genocide, to divest from war and to invest in PA. About 200 protesters flooded the inside of the Capitol Rotunda Monday afternoon in a demonstration that called for the end of the Pennsylvania State Treasury's investment of public funds into Israel bonds as fighting continues in Gaza. The protest shut down the Capitol on the state Senate's first day back in session and as preparations were being made for Tuesday's budget address by Governor Josh Shapiro. We need all available officers to the Rotunda. Mass arrest. Mass arrest. According to Capitol Police, the demonstration was unauthorized and occurred without a permit. 126 people were taken into custody, given trespassing citations and were released. Protesters say it was all part of an effort to demand change. If our elected officials who represent us aren't going to take those actions, the people have to come and pressure them and take the actions ourselves. The state treasury has $56.4 million invested in Israel bonds, 20 million of which was invested in October after the Israel-Hamas war began. <laughs> investment protesters say needs to end. You all represent us and our taxpayer dollars that you control, including the state treasurer, Stacey Garrity, are being sent to a genocide. And we demand, as the people who are paying those taxes, for that to come to a halt and for us to invest in Pennsylvania and divest from genocide. In a statement sent to Fox 43, Pennsylvania Treasurer Stacey Garrity says, quote, state treasurers from both political parties have proudly invested in Israel bonds for more than 30 years. Israel is America's greatest ally in the Middle East. After the horrific and deadly attacks perpetrated against Israel by the terrorist organization Hamas, I unequivocally stand in solidarity with our ally. In October, the Pennsylvania Senate and House passed a unanimous resolution denouncing Hamas's attack on Israel, reaffirming their support for the country. One month later, a letter signed by 12 Democratic lawmakers was sent to the Pennsylvania congressional delegation calling for a ceasefire. That letter has yet to be addressed. Ryan Yee, Fox 43 News.